You can make an object move without touching it. How? It's the invisible force of magnets. Observe as I make this globe hover in mid-air. It's magic. It's not magic, it's magnetism. Magnetism is a force of nature, like gravity. You can't see it, but you can see what it does, and it starts with atoms. Atoms are extremely small bits of matter that make up everything in the universe. They have a nucleus with positively charged protons. Circling around the nucleus are negatively charged electrons. The positive protons and the negative electrons balance each other out. When they spin around, electrons create tiny magnetic fields. In certain metals, like iron or nickel, all of those tiny magnetic fields line up to create a bigger field, and that metal becomes a magnet. So, what's so special about a magnet? Magnets have a magnetic field. You can see that field if you put iron shavings around a magnet. The shavings become little magnets themselves and distribute them along lines of the magnetic field. Each end of a magnet is called a pole, either the North Pole or the South Pole. Now, magnets are useful because these poles can attract or repel other magnets and some metals. That's because opposite poles attract or are drawn together, and like poles repel or push apart. The Earth has a North and South Pole, so is the Earth magnetic too? It is. The Earth is a big magnet. Its core is solid iron surrounded by molten iron. That churning, spinning core creates a huge magnetic field. That magnetic field is important because it acts like a shield reaching out into space. It protects the Earth from solar winds and harmful ultraviolet radiation. And the Earth's magnetic pole pulls on smaller magnets too. Explorers have long used a tool called a compass. This device has a magnetic needle that always points north and south, so you can find your way around. So how do we use magnets? Magnets hold our refrigerator doors closed. They're used in computers. Even credit cards have magnetic strips. In the 1820s, the Danish scientist Hans Oersted discovered he could create a magnetic field by passing electricity through a wire coil. These electromagnets can push or pull depending upon the direction and force of the electric current. Today, electromagnets are used in electronics like headphones, printers, and medical devices like MRIs. They're used in motors that operate small and large-scale machinery. Roller coasters use electromagnets to push cars along the track. Electromagnets are used to create and distribute electricity. And superconducting electromagnets even help scientists study the tiny particles that make up the universe. Wow, so all metals can become magnets? No, only a few metals are said to be ferromagnetic. That's a big word meaning a substance that is magnetic or can be magnetic iron, nickel, cobalt, and some alloys or mixtures of rare earth metals can be magnets. Steel can have magnetic properties because it's made with iron. But metals like copper, brass, and aluminum aren't magnetic and aren't attracted by magnets. So magnetism is an invisible force that can push objects away or pull objects together. Magnets are special metals that have magnetic properties, have a north and south pole. And magnets, or electromagnets, are used in all sorts of everyday objects, in motors and medical devices, even in scientific research. That's right. So if this globe floats through magnetism, then explain this. How did you do that? Maybe it's magic, or just my magnetic personality. Here, Smokey, have a carrot. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website, or check our related videos. And if you like Science Trek, be sure to click the subscribe button to catch our newest videos.